Well, could you run nearly 15,000 kilometres? Few of us could, even if the mind was prepared for it, I suspect. But former Liberal MP Pat Farmer is far from a normal athlete. He's ready in both body and mind for another amazing adventure. Pat Farmer's decided to run around 80 kilometres a day across this country, all in the name of raising awareness about the voice to Parliament. Anthony Albanese and Indigenous Indigenous Australians Minister Linda Burney travelled to Hobart today to send him on his way. In Pat's vision in running uh, some 14,000 plus kilometres around this great nation over six months, 80 kilometres a day on average, every day, he is showing his commitment to reconciliation. And he will, through this run, uh, mobilise these local communities where he visits. And I know that he'll speak in a little while, but I know that he's hoping to mobilise that support uh, throughout Tasmania firstly, but then throughout the entire nation. And finishing on the 11th of October, fittingly, at Uluru. Uh, this is uh, an important statement in itself for Pat's inspirational journey to end where the Uluru Statement from the Heart uh, was formed. To Pat Farmer, the very thought of what you're about to do makes my knees hurt and I will not be running with you but I am there in spirit. But very seriously, there are great moments in history when individuals step up and start something that harnesses the spirit of the movement and their extraordinary ed energy moves us all forward. There have been many moments like this on the journey towards constitutional recognition. Ten, nine, I'm up for the challenge. What I want to know is, are all of you up for the challenge? I'm inviting Australians to run with me a step, a kilometre, a metre, 500 metres, five kilometres, whatever you can do, but I want you to turn these words, these eloquent words that we've all heard this morning into action. I want you to show not only Australians, but indeed show the world that Australians are mature mature enough to reflect on the last couple of hundred years of our history, to learn from the mistakes of our past and to move on into the future as one nation, one people.